In this video, I'm going to explain how to prepare your SDS file for your one of your main assignments for this class. Uh, at the bottom of each week's assignment, there is a list of specific SDSs that I expect you to put in your file. The purpose of this assignment is to teach you how to get and use the resources that are available to you at the drop of a hat. Simply because you never know when somebody's gonna get hurt, injured, or ingest something in your salon, or even in your home. And so it's imperative that you know how to get the emergency medical treatment that your client or your children or visitors are going to need. This class is really super important for the health and safety of you as well as your clients. Under the week one assignment, you'll see a list of things, and this is for everybody. All disciplines have to do this. A disinfectant. Once again, it doesn't matter what disinfectant you use. A hand sanitizer. Laundry items such as a detergent, bleach, fabric softener. Cleaning supplies such as window cleaner, pine oil, uh, Mr. Clean, Lysol, those are trade names, bug spray. Then at the bottom of your week two assignment, which is the assignment on shampoos and conditioners, we now get discipline specific. So if you're a cosmetologist, you will be looking for a shampoo and a conditioner. It doesn't matter whether you use Sebastian, Revlon, L'Oreal, doesn't matter. I don't care what the product is. I just want you to find a shampoo and a conditioner. If you're an esthetician, it will be a cleanser and a moisturizer. If you're a manicurist, it will be hand soap and hand lotion. And in week three, it's also discipline specific at the bottom of your assignment. Since we're talking about sodium hydroxide that week, if you're a cosmetologist, you'll be looking up a hair straightener. It could be Revlon, it can be um, any, any name brand, it doesn't matter. Fringe Perm, it doesn't matter what the company is as long as you find it. If you're an esthetician, it would be disincrustation lotion, Dermalogica calls theirs scaling fluid, or you could find a depilatory if you wanted to do that. Manicurist, you will do a cuticle remover or a cuticle solvent, whichever it's called. Once again, it doesn't matter what name is on it. And I'm going to uh, hopefully be successful this time, because it's the second time I've tried it, to get onto my computer so that you can see how to trans, I don't, that's not the right word, how to find the documents that you want. I suggested a Procter and Gamble, and uh, the students in this class, this semester, were having a relatively hard time doing that. So, down here, I'm gonna have to do this very carefully. On your search bar, okay, you see your Safari. You I'll open your Safari, whatever, and then in the search bar at the top, you will type in detergent, and let's just go with Tide. That's a really common um, Tide detergent, Tide SDS. And then you enter, and now you have up here old terminology uh, you, in week one's assignment. I refer back to material safety data sheets because we've only, it's only been in the last couple of years that they changed it to being an SDS, okay? And so on a lot of times on websites, like down here, you'll see SDS, okay? But here's the Tide Liquid Laundry. Let's see if by any strange chance, it pops up with an SDS. Uh, download info sheet. And yes, we want to allow it. And no, that didn't help us any. This is what I'm hoping to help you eliminate so you don't spend a whole lot of times um, you know, searching 
and having this, oh, doy, look, right here, SDS. Okay. Open Sesame. Find the, oh, great. Now we still have to search, which is exactly what I didn't want to, oh, there's Tide. We can just click on that. And hopefully, uh, you know, this is exactly, you know, what I was trying to have help you eliminate so that you don't have this exercise in futility. Find the safety data sheet. Uh, let's go with soap. Search. There's Once again, there's Tide SDS search, hopefully. And look, it looks like we're back to the scenic tour here and it didn't help us at all. And once again, another SDS place to go. And for me, if you're like me, you're so done right now. This is ridiculous. D-E-T-E-R-G-E-N-T-S-D-S. -E -E I want it, I'm trying to make this easy for you. Showing results for SDS. We're not gonna go to Proc, we're not going here again. Did that, been there, done that this ship has sailed so we're gonna try this little guy and see what happens with this one yay we did it SDS okay it's a detergent detergent like I told you I don't care what detergent you are looking for you're looking for your hazard pictograms Okay, and this will also help you with your uh, homework assignments when we're getting specific about SDSs. But basically what you really want is this first aid measures. This is so important. Okay, after skin contact, rinse, and uh, we want swallowing. Okay, immediately call a poison control center. Do not induce vomiting, rinse the mouth, this is so important that you understand uh, you've swallowed this or a child has swallowed something and what you're doing is do you want them to throw up or not I want to make sure all this gets on here because the last video I did we did not have all this information on the screen and now that's why I'm redoing it so this is the key issue now when you're putting your your uh, your SDS file together you do not need, look at this says, page two of nine. Really, I don't need nine pages. What I do need is the first page. It gives you the trade name and it'll either say Tide, this happens to say detergent eight. Okay, and it identifies it, what it is, your manufacturer and the classifications. I only need the first page because this is an exercise where I'm trying to teach you how to find the information that you're going to need. So now if we do, if we Google hand sanitizer, Z-E-R, and we want the SDS. And once again, we don't care. Here's Purell, okay, and we'll click on that. And hopefully, see how easy it popped up this time? Oh my goodness, this is what I want for you. I want it to be this easy. This is what you need for your hand sanitizer. Once again, I don't need 9, 10, 14 pages of it, but I do want you to look down and there's your hazards pictogram. Okay, but once again, we are only really interested in the necessary first aid if swallowed. Because normally the only person... <laughs> I don't know of anybody who's gonna drink your stuff, okay? But a child possibly could, okay? And so if it swelled, once again, do not induce vomiting, okay? And so it's important that you understand uh, causes serious eye irritation. So don't sanitize your hands and rub your eyes, okay? And first aid responders, this is a new area because of COVID-19, we have to protect our people who are giving first aid so this is you you would be a first responder in your salon so be very careful that when you're rendering first aid you take care of yourself also now if I'm gonna do um, 
week two, and I want a sample from there, I can put in my search bar shampoo, and I'm gonna put SDS, click. It's gonna come up. Oh yeah, I did mean shampoo. I, I'm not going to Procter & Gamble. Okay, so yes, I meant shampoo SDS. Um, let's see, hair shampoo. Let's try this and see what we get. Perfect, popped right up, just what we want. So what I'm doing now is I'm showing you how to use this. Now, one of the things that you also need to be careful of, especially at home, is when you have company. I, I just started using Cascade um, Platinum. C-A, Cascade, P-L. A T I U M S D S. Uh, no, it, why would you do that? Okay, let's see what happens when we go here. Oh my goodness. You know, and on the other video, it was perfect. It popped right up. I didn't have to do any of this cute stuff. Um, Obviously, it's pods. I have the pods, and I want the SDS, and normally, it would be very simple. It was so simple when I did it before. What did I do wrong up here? So, let's try it again. C-A-S-C-A-D-E P-L-A-T-I-U-M S-D-S Yes, I did mean that. Okay. Cascade SDS safety data sheet. This is what I wanted. Okay, so this is where we're headed. And I did this. Hopefully you can see this because if you look at this pod, I'll try to get it so you can see it. It looks like candy. And so if you had a, a child guest coming into your house and they got into your sink and they saw this pod, they'd be looking at it going, oh my goodness, and pop it right into their mouth. Now I have an issue, right? So now I need to scroll down and I need to see, uh, there's my caustic symbol that says it's gonna burn my hands, okay? Don't breathe, but we want, once again, if swallowed, rinse the mouth, do not induce vomiting. So some of these things are so important for you that, once again, remember, I only need the first page. So when you're putting together an SDS file, this is kind of what I expected, but at the bottom of this, I don't know if it was at the bottom of this page. Please tell me it was. They had a really neat website. Nope. Oh my goodness. And I they had a website up here that um, was an electronic SDS that you could do. Um, let's see if it was on this one. No, not there either. Darn it. Um, I don't want that. Let's see if they did. I, I am so upset. What I'll do is I'll take a picture of it when I find it. I'm not going to waste our time doing it here. But when I find it, it was a, a free website where you could do an electronic um, SDS file. And then you can um, upload it, send it. It's such a really easy thing to do. But you're going to create an SDS file. You're going to put just the first page of the SDS in a file and upload it for your final project. So um, hopefully you found this beneficial. And hopefully you'll be able to uh, work on your SDS file with a little less frustration.